Farah Khan est moins tolérant que Brother Lookman. Il ressort le vieux spectre du juif bouc émissaire. On pourrait lui rétorquer, comme l'a dit l'écrivain noir Shelby Steel, que rien ne fait perdre plus de temps que d'avoir un ennemi. I don't hate Jews because they're Jewish. That's terrible. If the Jews practice the scriptures revealed by God through his prophets, they are my brothers in faith. But what I hate, I hate the evil of exploitation. I hate the fact that you hid the truth from us and masqueraded as our friend while you were doing evil to us as a people. That's what I don't like. Bill Adler, activiste des 60s, travaille dans le rap depuis 10 ans. Il s'est occupé du groupe Run DMC, il a aussi écrit une histoire du rap avant de publier une réponse à Farrah Khan, aidé de Harold Brackman et de Cornel West, un des intellectuels afro-américains les plus respectés. I wrote this book in the summer of 1992 as a response to uh, the endorsement by Ice Cube of another book called The Secret Relationship Between Blacks and Jews. It's a terribly anti-Semitic book. And uh, I thought it was very important to respond to it in a substantial form because Ice Cube is such an influential figure. I work in the rap music community and it was uh, distressing to me to think that his influence would poison uh, the relationship between blacks and Jews in the rap music community. Why is that the only time black folks get to ride in a limo? It makes me so mad I want to get scandalous and go handle this. Michael Jackson must be made free. He's nearly a billionaire, but he's not free. All of my brothers and sisters who are artists, you need to be made free. Free from what? Free from outside control that makes you do what you don't want to do. Right now, in the music business, and particularly in the rap music business, there are more black entrepreneurs than at any time in history. So, I think there's more latitude for black performers. You know, there's more independence if a black performer wants it, you know. And so, you know, the notion that, uh, you know, th this industry is dominated by Jews is false, I think. And the notion that uh, there are no alternatives for uh, black artists and black entrepreneurs is also false. You have to choose that you're black by your actions, not just your words. I'm told for anything that's dealing with black business, we must take our money and economics and put it back in our own community. We must take what we learn in these colleges and bring it back to our community. Le disque du groupe Paul Wright to Teachers s'appelle Black Business. À Trenton où ils habitent, un tiers des Afro-Américains vivent sous le seuil de pauvreté comme dans tout le reste de l'Amérique. You know, look at the Japanese people, all their money they invested right back into their country and build up their country. They're not putting nothing in the ghettos. All the black people around here with VCRs walking around with Sony Walkmans walking around with all kind of JVC radios. They ain't putting no money in our community. Nobody. Look at Nike. All the brothers up there got on Nikes. You know, none of them got no hot water in their house. Hallways smell like piss. I lived in the projects the majority of my life. I know. I know. Ain't nobody doing nothing for black people around here. That's why we consider our record black business. That's why we titled the record Black Business. What the baby girl just pee me girl man. Put it back y'all. Push up your arm because your love blacks is on it sir. Push up your arm because your love blacks is on it sir. When you're saying calling Farrakhan a racist, I don't see how they can see that. You know, I don't see how they can see that after slavery for 308 years, they gonna call us racist. We have a right to feel the way that we feel. We have a right to do what we do. If I started a business and said I'm hiring all black people, they would call me a racist. And the only reason that I'm doing this is because black people have been out of work since the ending of slavery. That's the only full-time jobs we ever had in our life in America, slavery. Hey, what's going on, yo? Yes. Black business. You know, we trying to get paid too. After all those years of slavery, they ain't signed no checks. Me sit down on the rhythm like a true Donovan Now in and a poop on your lap on the rhythm station How long I work them guns, them a call rise man A second rise say you were for king champion Me sting like I'm big by like a scorpion Is a Mr. Coach come here with a real defection I'm trained on a data, how we will live Is a poop on ice when you're from the van line I'm a shock how we sting on my roll decision Step up, come Mr. Wise 
you rule the fashion. We are the young, we are the young. A wicked issue with them, man. Little yellow. You know, I'm going broad like a sparrow. You know, all he can manifest is what he know. And that's all we can do is manifest what we see. That's how we become the CNN. The CNN for the ghetto. Rastafari. Respect. Drop the step down, then we'll beat y'all down, alright? Hey, yo, put my man up on that spot. Alright. On the sidewalk there a drunk man I lay He's begging for money each and every day Him never have nothing to good or to say Should I listen or should I walk away? I reach into my pocket, take out a quarter But then I remember, see I have a daughter So Mr. Beggar Man, how do you end up that way? Oh, 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 oh. let me ask some question Tell me how we have a lead him, we have a lead him If everybody's taking, then tell me who have a it's like that, man. It's like that. Yeah. Hmm. Right, so, right. The politicians, the government, and so on and so forth, they are into using the media as their sole weapon. You know, like putting out false statistics and things of that nature, making certain people on the globe look savage. A savage is a person that has lost the knowledge of self. How are you all able to get guns? You don't have any firing range to sharpen up your skills. So you're shooting at brother A and kill sister C. Or you're shooting at a blood or a crip and kill a baby that don't know what a blood or a crip is. Let me see it. Wait a minute, let me show you how to hold it. I had to get it. Hey man, I'ma pay you. Get up out the car. Hey, well, come on, man. We supposed to be brothers. They put out a movie recently. Menace to society. If I'm John the second, they gotta be John the first somewhere. Well, if I'm menace two, who's menace one? That I learned to be a menace to society from. That's the hidden menace. That's white supremacy. Le taux d'homicide chez les adolescents noirs est 11 fois plus élevé que parmi les blancs du même groupe d'âge. Le meurtre est la première cause de décès pour les noirs de 18 à 35 ans. Dans la même tranche d'âge, 42% des noirs sont en prison. Des prisons comme celle de Rollway New Jersey State, prison connue pour son programme de réhabilitation, le Lifers Group. Les détenus viennent d'y enregistrer un disque rap. This institution is probably 78 to 80 percent black. The total prison complex at East Jersey is, is 2,500 inmates. And there's about 985 staff um, because we have everything from inmates doing life sentences or more than one life sentence or 90 year mandatory minimum sentences. But then we also have guys in a unit, uh, one of my units in Secaucus, New Jersey that are going to go home within the next five or six months. So we have a little bit of everything. The average is probably between 15 and 20 years sentences. So you would say it's a very, very hard place. Yeah, it's a maximum security institution, mostly, yeah. The final city nation of poor wretches teachers do not believe in teaching up with Tim Sin, who is all wise and wretched, no one the true and living God is, who teaches freedom just to require to all the families of the planet Earth. This song, so to near five percent of the pe of the people that that is that is conscious and in the a conscious element. You know, and they look at themselves as being um, God and, and things like that. 
Nebuchadnezzar. Then they said, "You look in the mirror. God made man out of the image of Himself." So, so when they look and turn to that, then they see the new God and, and things of that nature. La secte des 5% se retrouve dans toutes les prisons, tous les ghettos. C'est l'aile jeune de Nation of Islam, ils sont plus extrémistes, les pro right to teachers en font partie. Globally, 85% of the population are savage. They have been slaved for mental death and power by those who we consider the 10% of the population who desire to make themselves rich off the ignorance of the 85%. Then we come in, the 5% who tries, whose job and pur purpose and responsibility and sole obligation on the planet is to free the 85% from the lies that's being taught to them by the 10%. So that's where we come in. Well, the 5% nation has teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad through one of his ministers, Clarence 13X, who is the father of the nation. And um, it's based more on the Islamic teachings of the nation of Islam. A lot of people came into Islam by becoming five percenters. The five percenters evolved after the death of Malcolm, and uh, with the e the development of uh, of uh, Clarence Thirteen X, and some people took that and they went way off the track of Islam with the with the five percent. Anyone who teach lies to keep the poor ignorant are ten percenters because they're blood sucking our people, and that's where we come in at. 5% is all the poor also, righteous teachers. You know, I said, Fred, God's not a racist man. He's a man for his people. Just like you may have the skinheads, they for, may be for their people. They want separation for their people. You know what I'm saying? The same way this black man feel that we should have our own. You know what I'm saying? Fred Kern's a divine leader. You see what I'm saying? The media um, puts him out there to be in a negative sense or in a negative light when, when in actuality he, he's not like that. The only thing he's speaking is positively and truth. I heard a black brother on television last week saying, when the white reporter asked him, how do you feel when you have a weapon in your hand? He said, I feel invincible. And this sense of invincibility gives the brother a delusion of power. Until white folks show you what real weaponry is, then all of a sudden your sense of invincibility evaporated like the morning dew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for I'm here for um, shooting and armed robbery. You know, I was out there, I was gunslinging, just being out there. You know, I got into some static with some people, and you know, one thing led to another. I pulled out mine, they pulled out theirs, and it was like bang, bang, bang. You know, and and they led me up in here. I'm living proof, they never proved you in the truth. Fellas, because you committed a serious crime. Six murder in the judge, give me your ass so full of time. Two life spin, running for seconds in the week. Now act, how can I do something like who the life is? He figured you should have thought of that before you killed a man. They got caught, so do what you can. I started bitching, but by then it was too late. Cause I was already sentenced with no chance of a parole day. First day in the bed, I felt out of place. Cause I ain't seen not one full million face. Plus I was scared. Je 